What's up, YouTube? Kainu back here finally again. I went on vacation, now I'm back for another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you the best settings for your stream, no matter what platform you wanna stream to. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section, and then make sure you like and you subscribe. But without further ado, let's hop into the video. Okay, so we're actually over on restream.io. They have a list of every single platform's recommended specific settings. Restream.io is actually a specific software that lets you stream to multiple platforms at once. This video is not sponsored by them, but I really like their product and I may make a guide for them in the future. But these are the specific settings for Restream, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So let's go over Restream first. So right here, we have Restream common guidelines. We got resolution, FPS, the codec, the mode, the keyframe interval, the max bit rate, and then all of the other settings. I will put a link to this website down in the description. So if you have any questions, feel free to go and get the information that you need. Okay, so now moving on to Facebook, max resolution is 1920 by 1080. They have a max FPS of 60. The codec is times 264. Mode is strict CBR. Keyframe interval is two seconds. And then something interesting is their bit rate is actually 9,000, whereas Twitch is typically 6,000. As we see, as we go down further, we'll see that. Next up is Twitter. We have 1280 by 720 with a max FPS of 60. And then the maximum right here is 1920 by 1080. And then they have pretty much the same exact settings as Facebook, except you can go up to a maximum of 12,000 bit rate right there. All right, next up is Twitch. Twitch is actually on the lower end of settings. I think it's because they have so many people on the platform, so they can't actually bump the settings up or it may cost, I don't know, something with cost or something like that. But the resolution, maximum resolution is 1920 by 1080. The maximum FPS is 60, and then the max bit rate is 6,000. 6, I personally have bumped it all the way up to 10,000 just to up my quality a little bit more. And then I also like to make my actual like resolution, like my base canvas in 2K, and then bump it back down to 1080 when I'm actually outputting my settings. So Twitch may be able to switch it up a little bit but these are the settings that are recommended by the platform so if you're just starting out streaming this is what they recommend next up is linkedin i don't know too many people who actually stream to linkedin i, I think i've only streamed maybe one time to linkedin it's not the best platform for creators slash entertainers it's more of a business platform but it may change in the future so keep an eye on that so they have a max duration of streaming of four hours, 16 by nine aspect ratio, a max resolution of 1080 at 30 FPS. They probably haven't put that much money into it. So that's the reason the settings are subpar. And then they have a 6,000 bit rate and then a 48 kilohertz sample rate. And then it seems pretty standard. Most of them have a pretty standard settings. It looks like it's 1080 at 60 fps at 6000 bit rate some of them you can only stream at 30 fps but for the most part it seems 1080 60 fps at 6000 bit rate some platforms go up to 9000 and 12000 but mainly 6000 and then finally they don't actually have the best youtube settings so i believe you have to click right here on this button and it'll tell you the best settings for each specific quality you want to go for I don't recommend going over 1080, 60 FPS because I feel like there's not really a point. Like you can stream in 4K, but like it's just going to throttle your computer that much more. But it's right here, 1080p right here, 4500 to 9000 bit rate, which is pretty standard as we've seen. If you did want to stream in 4K, I've never streamed in 4K personally, but these are the settings you're supposed to have. So it's 3840 by 2160 and a bit rate of 20,000 to 51,000. I wonder what type of computer you actually need to stream at those settings. It's probably like a Threadripper with like a 3090 and you probably have to have a separate streaming setup by itself. But these are the settings for all of the platforms. I'll link them down in the description. If you have any questions for me personally, 
feel free to ask them to me and then don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to take it easy look forward to more videos coming pretty soon i'll do a review of the samsung q2u and then i just picked up the sigma 16 millimeter lens and i'm going to compare it to the newer cheapo i think it's a 30 millimeter lens i made a review of it a little while back but i'll compare the two but don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to take it easy guys peace out